Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Saint Nate Jr. here, back with the Fanta skin. Please sponsor me, Fanta. I beg. And today we're gonna be starting a new series called <gasps> Server Review. Today we're gonna be going over Invaded Land, which has three, only three different type of mini games. I wouldn't call them mini games, but just games in general. Being Kit PvP, which we're gonna be reviewing first. Skyblock and survival and we're gonna do skyblock and survival I haven't have much opinion about survival I don't have much opinion about survival since I haven't played on survival and invading lands a lot so everything's probably reset I don't know but skyblock I do I am pretty familiar with also with kid pvp and first like I said we're gonna go through kid pvp now, Kit PvP on this server is, of my opinion, is my favorite Kit PvP server. It's because everyone on the server has inside jokes, and I feel like a lot of people can get stacked very easily, unlike this idiot down here. But there's this weird, like, unspoken rule that all diamonds team up together, and that they don't go after anyone else. I don't know why, it's just an unspoken rule. These people team, even though they don't have to. And I think that's a little unfair for all these irons, you know, it's because it's very hard to get stacked if you die somehow with Kid PB. I mean, Kid Daily, which gives you full diamond armor with Prop 1, or Kid Default, which I'm using right now and with these weapons. The thing is, this game for this is pay to win. If you have a rank of any stature, practically from the blue and up, I forgot the name, but also VIP, which is the green, you will practically be winning every fight that you come across in because you have overpowered weapons and you have overpowered um, gear. Meaning that you get prod 2, you can get flame and sharp 3 or sharp 2, when other people have to work hard to get money and get sharp 2. This is what I did anyways. Actually, sure, three, whatever, same thing. But I would still give this Kit PvP very fun, is because the server owners, meaning Skeppy and some admins like Zelk, um, interact with the player base very often, making it a fun and enjoyable experience for everyone. Also, meaning that inside jokes are made all the time throughout the server, which can be very, very fun, in my opinion, and have. You can make, like I said, again, inside jokes. And then that just brings the community together as a whole. And who doesn't like that in the... Who doesn't like that? I am not teaming with you, kind sir. Okay, I might be teaming with you, kind sir. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Wait. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. See, look, look. Fine, fine, I'll back off. Diamond's team up is very unbalanced. Apparently, the sky is a really good sword on right now, which is not my favorite, which is not the best right now. God say. But anyways, I will, and I'm gonna be rating everything one out of ten for every little theme mode, and then I will be doing, and then I will be getting the average of that, saying by adding up all of the um, rankings I get for all three of the games and then I would be dividing it by three giving me an average amount of what I would rate the the server in whole and I think I would give this uh, 8 out of 10 is because it, the interaction with the player base is really fun and actually you know, a 7 out of 10 is because it is a very unbalanced it's a little unbalanced about how kits have overwhelming rule against everyone, but it's still an enjoyable experience for everyone to either type in chat, have a conversation, joke around, or just PvP in general when it's uh, in midday and there's a lot of irons, and you can try and risk winning when you're an iron going against a diamond like me. Like, I have won multiple times doing that, and, um, we flex, but okay. I know that's a dead meme, but whatever. And now, so I give this a 7 out of 10, like, a, wait, what? You were just hacking, mate. Mate, you were just hacking. Fly back up here. Mate, I just saw you hack. Wait, what? But, um, that reminds me. Even though there are also things like sponges that help you. That grant you the ability to have more mobility in the game. Which is very fun and useful for in the game. Like, who does not like that? One second, guys. You know, I don't have lots of gaps here. And there are multiple, and there's a variety of kits to be used. I'm gonna die by this dude. To be used on a daily basis, which, is, which sort of allows it to be very fair. 
and balance, even though that contradicts everything. But all in all, I give this a 7 out of 10, and now we're going to be going out to Skyblock. I have to edit, I have to edit, that is not Skyblock. That means I'm dead slash hub. Now, Skyblock on Invaded Lands is much like practically any other server with Skyblock. Nothing really additional except for the fact when mining, you get um, minerals, which I will be able to show you soon, but also their ranking. Uh, and the ranking goes as follows. Uh, what kind of materials are, on, are in your blocks? For an example, that, 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 and like all these minerals. And also the matter of fact of... What do you have in your island that is making it so useful? Like having a lot of reeds, having a lot of like, um, like, I don't know, I can't speak, enchantment tables and all that other stuff. It's really simple, really basic, and I think that's also fun because you start off with the normal island as if you would if you downloaded the mod. Unlike, you know, some of those islands that start off with, like oddly shaped or whatever. Who knows? I don't know. But you can go see other people's islands, which allows you to interact with other people, and it gives you the idea to wanting to build a um, server like, I don't know. And it gives you the, I the idea of you wanting to build on the server, which is a very fun experience to try and build by making your own materials. And this is what I mean, let me just turn on this contraption that I made. Oh, it's on. So, this contraption, if, I, if you want me to do redstone, I'm actually pretty decent at it. It goes like this, and I'm going to just turn it off, so, for now, turn off, turn off, alright, so you, you can see that there are minerals in this, and I'm just going to mine all this, let's, I'm just going to mine a couple of this, and then if I put this back up, it's, this is just a complicated, more complicated, uh, cobblestone generator, it's sort of an auto generator, whatever, it's hard to explain, you know? The server lagging. Server lagging. Well, let me just explain other stuff. There is you can do slash top to see which um which island has the most money, which is also determined by whoever what your ballast. The server's definitely lagging. Let's. I'll cut. All right, whatever. If I can just start this up, then you can see when that whole bunch of minerals, including including oh uh, clear lag i don't know why uh i don't know what's going on but when you do start a comp cobblestone generator you can get every mineral possible you can also get blocks like these for help to allow you to start up and if you like this kind of concept i rate this i ra i sense it's so simple um for my personal liking i rate it a uh, 10 out of 10 and, but for the server in general, I rate it at 9 out of 10, it's because some people might not like this simple aesthetic, and would like it to be more complicated in some way, like challenges, achievements, but I give this a 9 out of 10. Now we're gonna head off to survival. Now I haven't done much in survival, but it's a very basic, like I said, this is a very basic server, but since the, since the admins and the server owner interacts a lot with their player base it is very fun and very active but since this is so simple without any additional you know personal effects i think this could be better but i also think that survival on all servers should be uh in 1.14.1 the latest edition is because who would like to play in normal this because in normal consoles because when it's less fun like so i'm gonna rate this a little lower than, uh, than others would rate it and i'm gonna rate it only a 5 out of 10 is because it's pretty, it is really basic, you have, but people can make a lot of builds, it's sort of like fashion since griefing is allowed on this server if you have unclaimed bases, even though that when TNT is used it does not exploit anything, but something that is used on this server which is really fun is the interaction with using a 
chat to allow you. That makes everyone look at the chat. So, yeah, I give this a 5 out of 10. Now, adding up 5, 9, and 7, you get 14, 14, you get 21. 21 divided by 3 is a 6. No, it's not. That is a 7. I am stupid. I am really stupid. So, yeah, I give the server a 7 out of 7 in total. Um, so, yeah, guys, if you like this video and you would like more, please post in the comments and like and guys remember to subscribe please subscribe i know 200 isn't a big milestone for some but it is for me since i've been in between 100 and 200 and like 199 for a very long time and now that i'm back on that youtube grind um sorry now that i'm back on that youtube grind um i might be able to get 200 and who knows maybe i might do a giveaway or some sort like on a server like a vip like um kit giveaway on a server so yeah guys remember to subscribe and hope you enjoyed